Have you ever wondered how printing plates are created and used in printing artwork onto a bag? That's what's coming up on today's episode of Packaging Explained. Printing plates are essential to the flexographic printing process, a process in which the raised image area of the printing plate deposits ink onto whatever material you're printing on. In our case, the printing plates are created using a photopolymer material. It's a man-made material, similar in softness to rubber, as opposed to a hard metal plate like those used in offset printing. Each bag design begins with customer-approved artwork that is converted into a high-resolution file by our imaging department. It's worth noting the number of plates necessary for a customer's bag design is determined by the number of colors being printed. Let me show you what I'm talking about. A four color bag would require four separate printing plates, one for each color layer. As you can see here, there is an image progression from plate to plate that represents different colors being deposited onto the plastic sheeting. As you may have noticed, the original plate started as a black material, but the finished plates you just saw were pink. The color of the plate is not actually changing. It's a carbon mask that's being removed by a laser. This is the first step in creating the plate. A laser cuts the customer image into each plate with exacting precision. UVA light then hardens the exposed areas, and these areas become the printing image. The rest of the material is washed with solvent and scrubbed away by the plate processor. To help remove the solvent and return it back to its original thickness, it's placed into a dryer. Once dry, the plate is put into a finishing exposure unit where it will be simultaneously exposed to eliminate tackiness and complete the curing process. Now that the printing plate is finished, it is ready to be mounted on a cylinder and printed using our flexographic presses. And that's how you go from this to this.